In today's video, we're gonna take a gigantic 20 pound pumpkin and turn it into a flying pumpkin plane. Yes! Oh! What you got here, dude? <laughs> Bro, so I went to the store, okay? Josh wants to make a pumpkin fly, so I decided to go get a few oh. pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> look at that long stem I, know, McGee. Dude, look. I got some gourds. <laughs> look at these little guys. Woo woo. All right, so we got some pumpkins, we got some gourds. We're gonna take them to the shop, see what people think about it, and we're gonna make them fly. I got some pumpkins! Here, <laughs> 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 somebody help me. You take that one. I know you can take this one, and I'll take Mr. Right. Longstep. <laughs> so, the instructions for Steph were this go get me some pumpkins that we can make fly. Yes. And this is not a pumpkin. <laughs> I don't even want to make that fly. Listen, it's, it's a perfect pumpkin. Listen, it's a good I had to buy it. It's a it's the it is pumpkin. the pumpkin, dude. Pro tip: whenever you're going out to pick up your favorite pumpkin, be courteous, everyone. Don't pick it up by the stem because the stem breaks off. Breaks off. Yeah. And then you don't want it, and you put it back, and some little kid gets a stemless pumpkin. It's true. <laughs> so pick them up like this because I was that kid. They got the stemless pumpkin, and it still starts. <laughs> All right, okay. we'll start with Mr. Long Stem. Like I said, all three of the same pumpkins, they're different size, but they cost the same. Same price. Same price. Yeah. Pumpkin number one. Wow, Ooh. I did not think all that right. that was gonna be seven. Yeah, what's your guess? Seven pounds? <laughs> I told them to find the pumpkins pounds. that weighed five pounds or less. Do you remember that, right? <laughs> you remember specifically that was the conversation. The, listen, I know I have a long stem. <laughs> in my defense, that was the smallest pumpkin on the lot. Okay, you ready? <laughs> so we had we had Cabby last year this time we dropped pumpkins for like a big fall party and it was really cool. We had Cabby and we picked up pumpkins that I remember were like filled with helium. Because we had multiple pumpkins, remember that? Yes. None of them weigh 10 pounds. <laughs> I don't I'm, gonna, I'm gonna guess, I think that's 18 pounds. Oh, she's, a, she's, she's a heavy this? one. That was 10? This is, this is 10. I'm guessing 20. This My guess is, is 20. 17 and a half. You might be right with 20, honestly. Okay, <laughs> that's 20.5 pounds. I may need just, to go back and buy a new pumpkin. Well, just think about this, okay? There are ways of making pumpkins lighter. Well, first thing is, is you're gonna carve it, right? Yes, I know. <laughs> that's fair. I'm just hoping that this thing is chock full of so much pumpkin guts <laughs> that we can take it from 20 to 10. And then you make the biggest, most obnoxiously huge jack-o'-lantern smile. I want it to be like Stefan's smile, like that. So you want Duck. me to take Stefan's face? Take... <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. take that smile. <laughs> But make his eyes big too, like he's yeah, iconic. Just, just, just big old eyes right, right here and a big old smile. Perfect. Yeah. If you guys don't mind, I'm gonna try to make the biggest pumpkin fly. It may fail, it may never get on the ground. And if it doesn't, then we're just gonna crush it. Hey, right. I love that. But let's make this fly and then you carve it. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll design an airframe because originally I just wanna take the Kraken. I was thinking this would be simple. We'd take a Kraken, you know, five pounds, no problem all day long. Yes. We gotta make a whole new airframe off of this. That's so fair. while you're carving it and getting it as light as possible, putting Stefan's face on the pumpkin, I'll go ahead and hollow it out, or I'll, uh, I'll do the airframe. Okay. And then- um, Divide and one. conquer. Divide and conquer. So each of our CPAC motors does like four pounds. Okay. Well, let's just do four CPAC motors. So four motors, that's 20 pounds of thrust. Airframe will probably be five pounds. That works. So let's hope to get this down to like, Close to 10. Yeah, what's your, so what's your goal? To get so, the, to the 20 pounder down so, to? So my thought is, is to make the biggest smile and the biggest eyeballs possible on here. And then on the inside, carve out as much as I can <laughs> of the punk and guts. Down. Yeah. <laughs> but keep it strong though, because the wings oh, yeah. are gonna come out of this. Yeah, I, that's true. I'll keep it strong, but light. It's time, it's time to do I it. I love you, man, <laughs> but I don't like you. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, All right. we're gonna get to it then. All right, operation, stuff his face on the pumpkin. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> so while these guys are out there carving a literal pumpkin, I'm in here flying the Wings Simulator, which is actually the sponsor of this week's episode. If you don't know what Wings is, Wings is actually a new simulator that you can do line of sight flying and FPV flying in giant open environments, which is really cool. So have you probably noticed in the market, there's been a lot of drone simulators that have come out over the last course of the last couple months. But this is cool because it's actually fixed wing. And you guys know how much we love fixed wing aircraft. So one of the coolest things about wings, in my opinion, is that you can have up to six 
16 different players playing multiplayer at the same time. And so you can get like a ton of your friends together and fly together, which is what we're all about here at Flight Test, as well as when you get that many people together, it's kind of like you're feeling like you're flying at like an event, right? Like Flight Fest. The simulator has three huge maps, and one of those maps is actually our very own Edgewater Air Park. So we fly here every day, right, which is awesome, but you guys now get to experience what it would be like to fly here at Edgewater, here in the Wing Simulator. And when you explore all three of those maps, you're actually exploring over 1,200 acres. So we got an early prototype of the game, so I've been flying for a while now, and I gotta say, it's a lot of fun, not only to fly a simulator, but also a lot of fun to fly your own plane that you've made in the simulator. So I've been flying the Simple Scout a lot. We also have the Corsair, the Kraken, and the Mini Mustang, which is really, really cool. And flight test planes aren't the only planes that you can fly in the game. They have many different styles of airplanes, so anywhere from flight test planes to Strix airplanes to Team Black Sheep, TBRC wings, video aerial systems, you name it, you got it. So obviously, you know about flight test, we're all about the community. Well, the same can be said about wings. They're super active with the community, especially over on their Discord channel. So here's the best thing about all this. Right now, there's an early bird pricing that's going on right now, but on top of that early bird price, they're gonna give the first 50 people from the flight test community that sign up through the link in the description below an extra 10% off of that early bird pricing. All you gotta do is click the link in the description below and then also put in the coupon code FT2020 to get your extra 10% off. So huge shout out to Wings for making this episode possible and also for creating an awesome simulator for all of us to hang out and fly with. And a huge shout out to you guys for watching the content. It means the world to us. And now we need to get back and see what they're doing with this pumpkin. So we need to uh, make a reference of Stefan's face for the pumpkin. Yeah. And uh, you had the great idea to look up for a Snapchat filter. We were looking through and we found this uh, pumpkin filter right here. All right. Ready? I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Ready? Ready? <laughs> so, Snapchat, right there, you got so, it? Yeah, I got it, I got it. So, <laughs> <Let me see laughs> it. so. <laughs> That's what I want. Thank you, that oh is, my God. That is 10 pounds of pumpkin flesh right there, dude. <laughs> this awesome. with bigger eyes. You know what it reminds me of? You ever seen, uh, you ever seen Lilo and Stitch? <laughs> He's got a really big mouth and those beady eyes. Hey, I'm down with that. I'm Stevan Ostrin and I approve this face. Well, hey, good luck, sir. Thank, thank right. you. Good luck. I'll, I'll, I'll start carving. I'll see you in the future. <laughs> All right. Save the pumpkin guts. We may have a use for them later. All right, so these guys are making this crazy pumpkin plan, and it's actually coming along really, really quickly. Josh came up with an awesome design. It kind of looks like a B-24, like a World War II bomber, and so I'm super excited to see how it turns out. But I got to thinking, this pumpkin's on the, gonna be on the front of the plane. We also recently just got the latest and greatest 360 camera from our friends over at Insta360. This is their new 1X2. It's their newest 360 camera. We've been having a ton of fun with this. I've been flying it with my drone, getting some crazy, amazing, footage uh, it's been a blast but what I'm thinking is because the way these 360 cameras work is you can put them out on a stick and you can't see the stick so it kind of makes it look like when you have a selfie cam it looks like there's somebody just filming you but when you put it on a plane it honestly kind of looks like a drone shot um, but it's out in front of the plane so I'm thinking we should put this thing right in front of the pumpkin so you're gonna be able to see the pumpkins big goofy face Stefan's big goofy face flying through the air like you just don't care so I'm gonna figure out a way to mount this thing on the front. I think this is how we've been doing it lately. Uh, we have these little makeshift DIY mini selfie sticks. Now, the cool thing about it is, is that this is just a quarter 20. So literally Josh just put a quarter 20 screw in there with a nut and I think he hot glued it. And then boom, you got yourself a mini little selfie stick. And literally all we do is we just go up to our plane and we just just jam it in there and then boom, you got a really cool view. You've seen it in a lot of our other videos like the P38 race. It was actually the predecessor to this camera. We used the Insta360 ONE X um, and various other ones like the watermelon drop. So anyways, I'm gonna go figure out how to get this mount on the plane and see if Josh is cool with it and I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm looking forward to it. So Noah has a really important job and that's carving the pumpkin, not only to make it look like Stefan's face, but also to try to shave some of those 20 pounds off of that pumpkin. There's no way we're gonna get this in the air under its current form. We need him to not only carve it, make it look like Stefan, but also do what he can to kind of hollow out, get all those guts out there and make it as light as possible. As you can see, the pumpkin's looking really good. It looks just like Stefan's amazing huge smile. It not only looks cool, but it also saved about seven pounds of weight. Now for the airplane, what I'm thinking of is going back to our World War II inspiration here, but this time, we're gonna need four CPAC motors. So what I'm gonna do is take my inspiration off of a B24 Liberator and use those cool round tail feathers, the cool round surfaces, and kind of make the pumpkin like the centerpiece, the cockpit 
of a B24. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely have to brace this up a lot because this is gonna be more than just the pumpkin. It's also gonna be the pumpkin and the uh, the airframes. All right, so we got our foam spar, but this isn't gonna be strong enough. So we have two plywood spars, and we're gonna match that up with some quarter inch poplar and make a box spar. This is gonna be really strong for us. We're gonna be able to mount that right up against the uh, the foam spar, and then we'll be able to join the two wings together, uh, going through a bigger spar right in the center of the pumpkin, and that's actually gonna make the pumpkin support the whole entire structure. You guys are probably seeing a new face running around in the background over the past few months here, and that's our good friend Chris. Chris came on the team a while ago and has been doing incredible things with FT STEM. One thing Chris is also really passionate about is really taking our videos to the next level. So I was back in my office here getting some more designs ready. I walk out and I see Chris putting LED lights inside the pumpkin here, and he's actually working with our good friend Hamish from Mud Dart RC on their mud LED light system. And if you guys remember our good friend Hamish, he's the one that won a Red Bull competition and built that beautiful H1 racer. Now the cool thing about this light system is actually programmable through your phone. Now this is in its early development and Chris has been really fascinated with anything LEDs that makes planes glow. In this case, he's gonna be putting in this pumpkin. So we have a well-lit jack-o'-lantern. Now we said we're gonna make a pumpkin the airframe for this and we really wanna stay true to that. So everything about this airplane is gonna actually attach through the pumpkin. So what I gotta do is figure out is how to make the wings plug into the pumpkin and also how to make the fuselage plug into the pumpkin and kind of come up with a very simple internal structure that'll support it all, but still keep that vision true. I got my hand in your mouth. Or <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really, I'm really proud of this though, because I was really like, how do we take something? Because this is like every day. Yes. Like this is day two. It's a little bit more flimsy. And, and you just carved this yesterday, and look at this. It's just like. When, yep. this, when this hits, it's going to just. <laughs> but we got something soft and squishy, so I had to get like all the bracing to where like the whole airframe is supported by the pumpkin. And so we got the spar running through, the wings plugging in, and then I made these carbon fiber brackets that are actually underneath and they yes. pop up. So now when the carbon fiber tube goes through, it actually pinches the, uh, it pinches between the bracket, which gives this rigidity on the bottom, yep. and it also holds that tube nice and tight. Yes. And dude, it just tied it all together like this. Great. Here's the funny thing is we, we make a pumpkin fly, but at the end of the day, we learn like a new way to fasten something, a new mechanism. And you guys can actually take what you see from this and apply it to actual model aviation. So just so you guys know, we're not cheating. Every main component of the airplane has to fasten to the pumpkin. So the wings don't directly fasten to the airframe. Everything goes in. The only common element is the, uh, the structure inside the pumpkin. But uh, all these pieces are separate. We can't put them together. So technically, this is our airframe. The build is looking really good here. Ironically, we have yet to put all the pieces together and finish it off, but we're gonna send it off to paint to really kind of give it that last little burst of character. And then we're gonna assemble it and she'll be ready to fly. All right, so Noah and the guys have been very busy with a paint job on this pumpkin plane, as well as putting on some sweet graphics. And as you can see, it looks absolutely ridiculous. Who would have thought? So anyways, we got nice weather. We got a little bit of wind coming down ready board runway. We're loading up the airplane and getting the crew ready. We're gonna go out and fly it. Before we head out though, I wanted to ask you guys to consider subscribing. You guys know the drill. We're doing videos like this all of the time. And just by hitting that free subscribe button, it helps us out way more than you know. Uh, so so hit that subscribe button and uh, let's head out to Ready Board RC Runway. We got a pumpkin to fly. Let's do it. You guys ready? Right, so I was really nervous. I was high hopes, reality check with the uh, the heavy weight. Even though you shave like eight pounds on it, this thing is heavy. But I just did a run up and she really wants to move. So I, I think we're gonna be okay. Now the other obstacle is this wind. It just picked up out of nowhere. It, it's always something, isn't it, is. it? It is, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Well, at That's least it. we have some headwind and it's going straight down the runway. No doubt. All right, so this is pretty loaded up here. We have four CPAC motors. We have an Insta360, One X2, brand new. We also have a tech channel video out. This is awesome whether you're flying RC airplanes, filming with the family, or even flying full scale. And uh, we have that on there. Yeah. You guys ready to go? Yeah, we're ready. You ready to chase? Yeah. All right, tell me when, Alex. All righty. Take it off. That's dedication, what he's doing right there. That's. Look, but look at the stance he has. You All ready? right, get yeah. ready when you are. All right. Good luck. Thanks, man. Here we go. Yes! Yes! Oh, there you the go. I forgot to put the little top on. <laughs> Holy cow, top. I am almost full up right it, now. It took off like a oh. real B24. Oh my. Just how barely how climbing out. Oh. Oh, how's she flying? There's a reason why you don't make pumpkins fly. I just discovered you it. You may want to keep climbing if you can to get above the tree line because it's turbulent. I can it feel it on the quad. Turbulent. Oh my. 
These poor motors. It, it sounds like they're working. <laughs> it has no face. <laughs> it's a plane with no face. Have you ever seen those World War One bombers? Yes. This is it. Oh, it my. doesn't have a nose. It's just <laughs> a pumpkin. Oh, you're full <laughs> throttle. Uh, yeah, it's taken everything I got. It's flying pretty fast. Oh, he's going downwind. It's funny, you're going really, really fast downwind and then going upwind, it's just creeping. So one, oh. thing, one thing I'm fighting also is I got a lifting tail on this. I think the faster I go, the more that tail wants to lift. But she's flying! It looks like she's decently stable though. Yeah, she's very controllable. If I didn't have a pumpkin on it, it would be an awesome plane. <laughs> the sound of those four CPEC motors. Yeah, it sounds like they're working. The color is awesome on the on the plane. It matches the trees. You can definitely tell it's Halloween. Don't crash on the bus down there. I'm oh. trying not to, man, but it's really hard. Man. Don't crash on the bus. It looks amazing. Oh. It looks very, uh, it looks like the wind is just beating the crap out of it. It is. Oh. Well, the good thing is, is I don't see the uh, I don't see the wings flexing very much. No, it looks solid, so, honestly. So that's a, that's a plus. All right, don't judge me, but I'm trying to do some adjustments on my. What do you need? Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh no. Come on, pull up, pull up. So I'm all I'm doing to climb is just giving it more throttle. Oh boy. Oh, Getting oh. kind of low there, Josh. Get that wind is real! Right, I think I'm getting out of my batteries. I'm gonna try to bring her down. Okay. Bring her down? Get off the uh, driveway there. Oh. You can. Yeah, I'm just gonna work it in. Just yeah, over you're looking good. Oh. Got a nice approach going. It's dropping. Bring it down, oh. Josh. Yeah! <laughs> it lives! <laughs> I know that. Nice. Uh, of all the things we built, how is this still alive? <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Oh, my. <laughs> and the 360 camera's still good. Woo! Oh, That's a... Last time we got an Insta360, we did bad things to it. We didn't have an Insta360 anymore. So. Yeah. Awesome. Well, what a great experience. What a great two day build. Yes, and it looks just like Stefan, too. It yeah. does. It does. <laughs> Stefan will be happy to see this when he gets back. Yeah. It still has that smiling face. Well, friends, thank you so much for being part of the Flight Test family. Thank you for hitting that subscribe bell. And also, happy Halloween. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. See you.